Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Anything Goes. How's everybody doing? All right, so I am open to any questions about whatever tonight. We're getting ready for Thursday, uh, Tuesday Night Throwdown on my other channel. Tuesday Night Throwdown happens at 10 p.m., which is in a couple hours from now, on my other channel, Corrupted Nation. 10,000 subscribers over there. Come on over. It's non-wrestling, no wrestling talk over there. Uh, but you guys want to talk about the injury to Adam Cole? I know that AEW Dark's going down. Uh, I can watch it later. It's taped, you know? Come on. But uh, great cover, it by the way, Undisputed we'll Era. Just want to give them a uh, give them a shout out over there at the the AWSM Media guy. Um, I believe I don't know if they stole that or that's theirs, but either way, a great eight bit uh, remix. Uh, really cool shit. Cool. Um. So. Yeah, anything goes. New intro theme. Yeah, and I I need to have like a real official theme. Mm. Getting ready for. I need to have dinner. You know, before we have throwdown, I, I need to have dinner. Um. So you know, we'll talk about dinner. We'll talk about love. We'll talk about the world, the world of professional wrestling. That is, the world of professional wrestling. The world is wild. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on right now? Spot all day. This isn't even throwdown. What the fuck? I want you to jam it in. Holy shit! Ooh, what the fuck? Oh, it's in your bung hole. Oh, it's in your bung hole. Holy shit! Good God Almighty! Sup my bro Joe. Got work later so just wanted to drop this now. Keep all the good content up. Holy shit! Oh my god, Everyday Jam! Everyday Jam with a not-so-everyday bomb! What in the world? Everyday Jam, man. Thank you so much, dude. That is so wild. That is out of this world right now. Wow. I mean, that is wild, dude. We haven't even said a word yet. I haven't said a word yet. Everyday Jam, man. That is unbelievable, dude. Thank you so much for that, man. I, seriously. Wow. That is crazy, man. I, I love you, dude. That's good shit. That's, you did not have to do that. That was unbelievable. I will definitely uh, throw your name up for the rest of the show down below because that is, that is, I am, that is wild. That is some wild shit. That's the type of rocky shit that's going down tonight than color me stupid or whatever the fuck you say. I don't know. Color me queer. My God, everyday jam. Two hundy bomb at the beginning of the show every day. Much appreciated, man. I hope you have a good night tonight, my friend. I just got back from bringing my kids to book club and, um, wow, I brought my kids, well, they not book club, I'm sorry, it's not book club, there was a book drive or, you know, whatever it's called, where you can go buy a book, book fair, book fair, it was a book fair, and so I just uh, got to get both kids a couple books for like three, four bucks, um, Everyday Jam, man, love you, dude, thank you so much for that, I won't, I won't gush over it anymore for the people that are like, all right get to some content now all right we'll, we'll we'll get to it right now um but everyday jam man it has to be said that uh that is beast mode type shit that is a bomb the chat is blowing up right now from that uh again a uh, throwdown happens tonight at 10 p.m on my other channel okay what do you guys got for uh questions uh bring it on uh you can use super chat you can donate down below if you want like everyday jam did just with that bomb um but or I'll just take the questions. I'll I'll just take questions in the uh, chat as well, um, and I'll take phone calls in a minute too. Uh, so we will take phone calls in a minute. 
I know people want to do that. Book fair, thank you, man. Yeah, some people got that. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. You know, I can't figure things out. The closest I came to a book in school was, uh, I don't know, man, like reading a porno mag or something. I don't know. F. Seth Rollins, Joe, you look like your younger self. Yeah, I shaved my face completely. I need to lose about 25 pounds, though. You can see how fat my face is, how how overweight I am by after shaving my face, how fat I am, which is creepy. So I do need to lose weight because if I could lose weight and look skinny with this face, it would look a lot better than fucking... I look like a marshmallow face. I look like I legit have a marshmallow for a face. In fact, I thought the funniest goddamn thing ever was was obviously when I went into this whole thing with Seth Rollins on Twitter. Obviously, a lot of Seth Rollins fans came at me and wanted to make fun of me and stuff like that, which is cool because I'm fair game. I actually like it too. It's kind of funny. Le Leah was saying that to me. She's like, "How do you put up? How do you deal with all the people making fun of you and stuff? Don't you? How can you deal with that?" And I'm like, it's goes with everything, man. If I want to be public on YouTube talking about stuff and make fun of people, uh, I'm going to be made fun of too. You know what I mean? I mean, do I think people need to make comments like die white people and why do white people hate it? Every, like, that was weird racist comments. Like, <laughs> like, why is it always somebody who hates minorities who does that? Like, what does that have to do with anything? Just weird comments about stuff. Like, what are you talking about? You think I walk around with a Tupac shirt on because I don't like, what are you talking about? Like, it was just crazy stuff like that. Like, all these podcasters who are white or, or racist. What does that have to do with Seth Rollins? What the fuck does that have to do with Seth Rollins? It was just so weird. But, um, yeah, I mean, you got to be ready for anything, man. If you're going to go out there and talk about shit, uh, you got to be ready for it. Um, where's the comment? This was the funniest comment making fun of me that I saw, at least to me. I got to find it because it's so funny. I sent it to Bailey, and Bailey was like, Bailey thought it was really funny, too. Um... Oh my God, where is it? Oh God, it's too funny. Well, I sent it to Leah too. Let me find the clip. It's probably quicker if I find it from Leah. It's really funny. Well, because I knew that if I shave my face, this is what I look like, right? Because a lot of people are always like, oh, shave your face. Looks like you have pubes on your face. You know, you look stupid and ugly. Shave your face. So I shaved my face, but I knew I was going to get now. I was going to get backlash about, oh, you look like a baby's ass or something. Um, so now, yeah, the, now either way, I look bad either way. If I grow facial hair, I look like a pube face, unconnecting beard. If I shave my face, I look like a fucking marshmallow's ass. But yeah, this is the greatest comment ever. And I blocked this guy. Well, I, no, I, this guy actually has my real name. Look at his name, Danny Joseph. That's my real name. That's so weird. But he wrote, I never knew Humpty Dumpty did YouTube videos. <laughs> I mean, like maybe if I was like way fatter, that would be even funnier. But, you know. I get, I do get it a little bit. I do look like Humpty Dumpty, um, which is pretty fucking funny to be honest. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know Humpty Dumpty did YouTube videos. <laughs> That's pretty fucking funny, man. Oh man, I didn't know. Like, I don't know. There's so many things you could say, but it's that's pretty funny. Like this, you could call me like a hobo looking motherfucker here or whatever. Um. Okay, but anyway, let's see. Rollins needs to get rushed by the fan. That's fucked up. I wouldn't say that. Um, what else do we have? You look more professional. Uh, chill Bruce Blitz. <laughs> yeah, I look more like Blitz. Oh, sorry, Nightbot. Uh, you can't say that word in the chat. I, I'm sorry. I still have never been able to fix that. There's like a glitch where that word is banned, like forever. I banned it at one point is because all those people were attacking me like five years ago, six years ago. And like I, no matter what I do, it won't unban that word. And it, and it blocks people for it. Why is Grimm su sucking uh, Seth's cock? Well, because that's what Grimm's toy show does. See, this is what Grimm, Grimm does. Grimm spends two years calling Nia Jax a fat battle cow. Do you remember that? He called Nia Jax a fat battle cow. Then Nia Jax snapped at him. Then I came to Grimm's defense and called her a bitch. And I said, yo, leave my buddy Grimm alone, you fucking bitch. And then Grimm sucked up to her. And then she forgave Grimm and ended up following him, but then shit on me. And then Grimm was like, I loved you, and like it was supposed to be, you know, it's just a joke. I really respect you. All these things. Look at how fat I am, like all this stuff. And he like totally did a 180 and sucked her ass, and then they became friends. And then she shit on me, and then I got blocked. Same thing with Rollins. This guy starts, starts with Rollins, and then I fucking stick up for Grimm being like, this guy treated you like shit. 
And then Rollins does a whole 180. I mean, uh, Seth, uh, Grimm's Toy Show does a whole 180. Oh, I love you, Seth. What a what a fraud. What a fraud you are, Grimm. In fact, I'm going to tell you this right now, bro, and I'm not even fucking around. Based on the stuff you've done to me, off air and on air, and based on the stuff that we've been through, you know what I mean? Let me just turn this fucking down. My boiler's going off, and I still haven't soundproofed this other room over here. Let me see here. Uh, I'm not. I'm not afraid to come over there to the smokestack state and uh, slap the shit out of you. All right. I'll slap the fucking bejesus out of you. All right, Grim. And I'm. And I swear to God, like I'm coming out there. Like you think I'm not coming? I know where you live. I have your phone number. You have my phone number. I know where you are. You know, it's all funny, like online, whatever the fuck. Like I'm gonna slap you like your divorced wife should have slapped you. You big fat piece of trash. I'm gonna slap the shit out of you, bro. And you know, I you know, and you go to parties and you didn't even you told me I could come and then you didn't invite me in the last minute. Like just you're so fake, man. You're such a fake fuck, Dave, okay? Dave Grim. You're like forty years old, but you pretend like you're thirty or something. All right? Like no th that's why Seth I know I I get that that's why Seth maybe this is why Seth doesn't like you. You're a grown man at these stupid events, like like taking up spots in line where kids are there, all right? And the fact of the matter is, I'm gonna I will do something, bro. Like I don't know what it is, like rip up your ring, pop a tire or two, whatever I gotta do, man. I'll be out there, bitch, and I'll step in. I challenge you to a fight in your ring. Sign a waiver. I'll sign a waiver. You sign a waiver. Whatever the fuck, and we'll have a goddamn UFC fight in your ring. Like, let's do that. Let's finally see if you actually are a tough guy, and let's have a real fight in the fucking ring like Scampoli wanted to have, but I'll have it with you, and I'll break one of your fingers. And that's the first thing I'll do is I'll break a finger. And then if you still want to keep going after that, then we'll see what comes next, what else I break. But, but I'll start with the finger. And you know what? Based on what I heard about your, uh, your, your old lady there, Maybe I'll take a swing by her house. Dave. With your wrestling figures, no wonder. Oh, he's playing with his wrestling figures again. All the YouTube revenue's going away. Now I gotta move my ring from inside of a warehouse where it was all nice and warm and cozy to, to outside in the goddamn wilderness because we can't afford a warehouse anymore. Because YouTube has cut the revenue. And once YouTube cut the revenue, guess what? Guess what? The women leave you. That's what they do. The women leave you when the revenue goes away. And then you get desperate. And now you're sucking the asses of the WWE superstars. So you can go to another 2K event with somebody like Lugie. Um, you know, I heard you've been flirting with her or whatever you do. You're a sick weirdo who on YouTube plays this fun, bubbly guy. But off YouTube, it's a dark son of a bitch. Is what you are off YouTube, okay? That's what you are off YouTube, is a dark, weird person. But on YouTube, yeah, Grimm's Toy Show, it's all what's up, kids? We saw what you were like, man. This is what you're, this is why people attack you at wrestling shows. I'm going to attack you in real life, motherfucker, in your ring. Dave. Anyway. That had to be said. <coughs> but yeah, but then, you know, I think it's all there for everybody to see about how he 180'd on me really quickly. Really nice of him to 180 on me when I was actually sticking up for him so many times. I'm telling you, man, when we get in that ring, it's going to be very, very real. It's going to be real. So we're just using the ring as a prop. You know what I mean? Because then you can say, oh, we were having a wrestling fake match. But in reality, it's a shoot. So we'll see if you let me step in there. I know you had issues with, oh, I don't want to be sued and all these things. Yeah, I'll sign the fucking papers. I've already been in your ring before as a work. 
Now let's do it for real. And I'll sign the fucking papers, Grim. I'll sign the goddamn waiver. I'll state it online. I'll sign the paperwork. Whatever. You break my jaw. I don't even have insurance. I'll step in the ring and fight you MMA style. We'll get Joey fucking Ross to come down there and referee the goddamn thing. And I'll snap one of your fingers. And then I'll and then I'll bring maybe I'll bring fucking uh, and then you know I, maybe I'll bring Lugie to watch so you can drool over. <laughs> anyway, um, let's move on to the next thing, which is uh, whatever you guys want to talk about. Whatever you guys want to talk about. I do respect the hell out of him, though, but it is going to be pretty awesome when I break his fingers live on his own thing. Like, that's going to be pretty funny. I will say that. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. I I, I say fingers because his wrists are so fat. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. Uh, 407's on the phone. Hello. What's up, man? It's Robbie Hyde. Robbie Hyde. What's up, baby? Nothing much, man. Sounds like you're dealing with some fucks lately. Yeah, you know, I'm not really, it's not really that bad, you know, to be honest. I'm actually feeling pretty good. I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good place right now. I'm having a good time. And, um, yeah, it's really not that bad, really. Um, you know, it's pretty good, actually. It's This has been fun. This last couple days has been weird. But uh, what what else uh, What else is going on? Well, no, I was just, you know, I've been paying attention to all the, the Meltzer tweets. I mean, on the bright side, at least you got Seth Rollins tweeting you out, so that's not too bad. Yeah, so. it's, it's weird. Um, he didn't want to mention my name, uh, I guess, but uh, nobody did today. They all they all went towards the Meltzer thing instead online. I noticed because uh, he called Meltzer, and I guess you know Meltzer <laughs> ran this report like that. Seth had this big rah rah speech with everybody in the locker room, but Seth has said that that's all bullshit completely. Like none of that was real. That none of that happened. So somebody told Meltzer some kind of bullshit. Yeah, that's what uh, it, it's kind of weird. It, it makes me wonder who, who like who is saying that. It uh, it makes me wonder who who Meltzer's sources are. Like, I mean, why? It, it, it sounds like whoever this source is for Meltzer, um, it's, it's like are they just out to get Seth Rollins? Like, what's what's going on? Like, is it, are they trying to like sabotage the guy, or you know, if he's saying he didn't even give he didn't say one word but this guy is saying that he gave a rah-rah speech it's like well who the hell is this person you know what i mean so yeah i'm not sure whether or not to feel bad for seth rollins or just continue to think he's just a fucking asshole like because i don't know the guy just always comes off to be like a like a little crossfit like prick you know what i mean so us powerlifters i do powerlifting we hate crossfit fucking gays we can't stand it, <laughs> but uh, like it's they're just just dweebs. I don't know, man. He but, comes off like a yeah, dweeb. Always, yeah, yeah. He comes off like a he dweeb. Just comes, yeah, I mean, totally. You know, but uh, it, it, it's making me wonder. Like, I'm a dweeb. I mean, you know, same. I, I fucking suck, but you know, what do I know? But uh, <laughs> with uh, it kind of makes me think, kind of back to how like CM Punk was kind of. Um, going through a lot of tough times, do you think this is even like any bit on that level? Or do you think he's just that stressed out with, with just his, you know, overall job right now with all the traveling? Cause it's, it's weird how he's just kind of lashing out lately. Um, you know, like, I, I don't know. I don't remember if CM Punk was lashing out or anything like that, but you know, obviously the guy was burnt out. The guy was going through, you know, injuries. It, it's kind of making me wonder if, Maybe Seth is going through something similar where just he's having a lot of a lot of kind of weird times going on in his life and maybe he's just beat up. I don't know. What what do you think? Why why do yeah, you think I just, he's it's kind a of lot of, out like this? It's a lot of criticism. When you're the top guy and the numbers are going down, 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 and then you're the top guy and everybody's coming right. at you from every corner telling you why it's not working or why, you know, they don't like you, but then you have a lot of people who just love you no matter what. You know, it right. it's very strange. Like it's really I, I think he is having a problem with the pressure. I don't think he would. Admi- I don't think he would even say that. I don't think he thinks he is, but 
But I think from outside, at the very least, he's annoyed by all of it. I mean, it, that, that's what it is at the very least. I'd be annoyed if I was him too. I'd be like, come on, man, every second. All these people making up stories and, you know, whatever the case is. It, it makes you kind of crazy enough when you see stories about yourself that aren't true. And you see enough of them and you start to lose your goddamn mind. So I get that from Seth Rollins. You know what I mean? Um, I sympathize with him there. I just think he would be such a good heel. I put out a tweet a few minutes ago about... Um, um, about Seth Rollins turning heel and what do you guys think he should turn heel? And I can tell you right now, I'm looking at the tweet. I'm at corrupted pod on Twitter at corrupted pod 138 votes so far. 97% say he should turn heel. I mean, that's, you know, I saw something from bully Ray saying he needed, he needs to be attacked. Like bully Ray was tweeting out that he needs to be attacked. He's one like big attack away from being, um, you know, turn to baby face or whatever, whatever the case may be. <clears throat> Holy shit, Everyday Jam. What in the world has Everyday Jam done today? Everyday Jam just became a $100 a month patron on Patreon. Holy shit. Good Lord. Everyday Jam is now one of the top patrons on Patreon. Jesus, Everyday Jam, man. That is wild of you, man. Thank you, dude. How can you be... Oh, wow. That's unbelievable, man. I had to shout that out because that's nuts. Um, by the way, speaking of patrons, anybody who has um, is a patron of uh, the $10 VIP or above... Um, me and Dave Rose earlier did Final Frontier News episode 18 where we talked about missing 411 and evolution and some other things all rolled into like one little podcast for uh, Final Frontier News. We're going to be talking about Epstein and a couple other things with the Lunar Landers tomorrow or this week rather. Um, but the Epstein stuff is something big as well as the Project Veritas stuff. So we'll be talking about that next time on Final Frontier News, but the newest episode is up and available right now, episode 18 for the uh, VIP patrons. Download it on your phones, do whatever you like, whatever the case is. And again, thank you to Everyday Jam. And he, he joins the likes of Sith Negan and Justin McNeil, um, I believe, who are the top guys in that category. Uh, let's see what else you guys are saying. I got Throwdown coming up in an hour and a half. Super Chat Party. Eat your heart out, Dave Meltzer. Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> That's the meme going around now, but it's it's kind of a true meme. It's a it's an informational meme. Epstein didn't kill himself. It's going on everywhere. Um, El Gallo, De Oro, the way the white man says it. <laughs> uh, thank you. That's how the gringos say it. Gallo. What's up to Soundwave92 in the chat and Danny310. What's up, Danny? I know. Should we make uh, every day a mod? I, the reason why I don't make people mods because of their donation amounts. I make people mods based on like their commitment to like, I promise Joe I won't ban people really. And I also promise I won't get mad if people yell at me. You know, because I don't want donators to be turned off. Shut up and bend over. You know? Finish it. Oh my god, don't finish it. Please don't finish it. I'm gonna finish it. What's up, everybody? Sorry, Joe, I fell asleep last night, so I wasn't online. I got a good laugh at least when Bobby Lashley got that groin injury from fucking Lana too hard. <laughs> Lol, but I guess I want to know what are your thoughts on WWE doing two Saudi shows from now till 2027? Um, doing, uh, two Saudi shows? Oh, yeah, every year, you mean, yeah. Um, yeah, so all that stuff about Saudi Arabia is out there and all these disagreements and they're done and whatever the case may be. And, and WWE has extended 
their Saudi Arabia uh, stuff. So, yeah, th- there, there's no problem right now. So, to me, this tells me that there was no problem ever other than there was a plane malfunction. It was a huge inconvenience to the superstars. And Vince McMahon left on his private jet, as he always does. And it looked bad because he left and they were all stuck there. But normally he leaves first anyway. He leaves right away and gets out of there. And everybody else follows in suit eventually as well. It was no, like, Vince leaving first. He always leaves first because he's always on the go. So that's what it sounds like to me. I don't think there was any other issue beyond that. I think there may have been uh, possibly an agree- a disagreement about, like, hey, listen, we need to be paid. You know, like, we need to start being paid right away because they were behind in the payments. So that was true. So people were able to formulate all these sort of speculations and ideas about everything uh, that was going on. Um, in uh, People ask me about... Um, people asked me about... Uh, Seth Rollins. Yeah, no, like, again, like, I have a lot of respect for Seth Rollins. I really do. I like Seth Rollins. I said it in the video. Yeah, I I went on to call him a a dick and a prick and all these things, like I said, because I thought he was being that way in the video. Doesn't mean I think that Seth Rollins is always a dick and a prick or a shithead. I think that most of the time he's probably not. But based on that video, that's kind of what I gathered from the video. That's how I felt in that video, you know, um, <laughs> Mr. Vias show Seth Rollins versus Joe Cronin, uh, headlines the entire show. Famous YouTuber versus the whiny bitch who talks shit blockbuster match. That would be funny. I didn't know who the whiny bitch was. I thought maybe I was the whiny bitch. I can be a whiny bitch too. There's no doubt about it. I can be a whiny bitch a- and Michael, um, I'm not going to talk about that man. I'm not into bashing other people's shows and other things like that. There's no drama on my shows. There hasn't been for a long time. You know, people are making that up that there is. There hasn't been. You can listen to Monetize This. You can listen to Corrupted. There there just isn't any of that. Um, It's all just made up stuff so people can try to, like, get their YouTube, uh, get their drama in so they can do a two-hour, three-hour video on me and review it or something. I, it's nothing. I don't. I don't want anything to do with it. I don't talk about anybody about that. I have the Joe Cronin show, the JCS community, uh, Corrupted Nation, and the stuff we do here. I want to entertain everybody. I want my podcast. I want the comedy. I want the wrestling coverage. I want all that stuff. But I'm not going to go into that because I have nothing to do with any of that. I'll leave the weird background YouTube drama for other people to deal with. I don't want, I don't have any part of it. I've been clean of it for a while now. I keep getting, trying people to try to drag me in on it. I, I couldn't care. I'm focused on this type of stuff. Um, but I appreciate that. Unless I'm talking shit about, uh, you know, <laughs> Ryback or something like that. Uh, but it, it is what it is. Um... Let's see. But yeah, um, uh, definitely appreciate it, man. Absolutely appreciate it. I mean, you know how people spin stuff. Look at the SJW stuff that's out there. Look at Terminator Dark Fate and all this stuff. That movie's a flop because they tried to push this dumb agenda crap. It didn't work out. But anyway, I'm going to be live tonight over on my other channel, Corrupted Nation, for Throwdown. And trust me, there is some stuff to throw down on. And we will throw down a bit tonight on Corrupted Nation. I'm just not going to do it here. Um, so get ready for that. Um, it's going to be a fun time. I think, I mean, I don't know. I think we have, um, I think we have Jesse coming on Dave Rose. If Dave Rose wants to come on the, the chair is open for Dave Rose and Jesse and, uh, Drew is going to call up at some point, but he's on the go on a cell phone. So he may not be on for long, but you know, it, it, it will be interesting. I will take your phone calls and stuff like that. I think this is Nick. Let's see if this is Nick. Yo, Nick, what's up? Yep. What's up? What's up, man? What do you want to talk Hello? about? What's up, Nick? What do you want to talk about? I just got I just got breaking news, bro. Randy Orton just re-signed with WWE. Oh, no surprise, huh? Did they tell it did they say how much it was? No, not yet. It just broke right now. I'm looking at it online right now. There you go, everybody. 
We told you he put that AEW seat out there to to prop up his paycheck, and I bet you Randy Orton just got a massive paycheck uh, because of that tease of, I'll fucking go to AEW. Yeah. Uh, it, so, yeah, you, you were right. Uh, I didn't agree with that, but, man, you, you, you were completely right about that, man. It was, dude, it was all just to get WWE to pay him a shitload of money. It's Unbelievable. a smart move, though. Yeah. It's a very smart move. No, 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 absolutely. It definitely is. Yeah. I also got some news saying that uh, there's going to be a new uh, design of the Universal title that's going to be uh, introduced on SmackDown this uh, this week. I saw that. Um it looks if this is the design that we're gonna get, it looks really friggin' pretty awesome, dude. It, it's so much better than that fucking period blood that Lana has been <laughs> spewing out. <laughs> it's so much better, dude. What was the night when you called in where I dumped the fucking drink all over myself and we were just laughing like idiots? Oh, that was the uh, when uh, the first time ever thing. Remember, uh, you can't be stopped for any reason. Oh, um, oh, during Hell in a Cell? Yeah. That was the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view review? No, no, no. The, it, I think it was a SmackDown review because I know Jake DeMarco isn't there. Last last week's SmackDown? No, not last week. It was a couple weeks ago. I'll look it up. Okay, I'll find it later then. I just was thinking about it, and I was thinking about how ridiculous it was. I don't know. It, was, it made me laugh kind of. Um, yeah, okay, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, again, like, Randy Orton probably, probably destroyed, dude. Randy Orton probably just, like, made a shitload of money. Um, Randy Orton has signed a new multi-year contract, according to PW Insider, um, last month. It's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a five-year contract, and they, they throw that out like candy now, so it's gotta be a five, at least a five-year contract. I could see, um... I can see it as a ten-year contract because that was his last contract deal. Yeah, it was ten. I don't think I think he would be smart to sign for two to five years now if he was smart because he could probably get the same money he got for ten years in three years at WWE now. You know, I mean, he probably signed, dude. He probably just got paid eleven million dollars for three years, and and way less, yeah. and, and and probably less appearances. You know, he probably yeah. marked less I got, appearances. I, I just got more. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you. I also got some more news. Apparently, Alexa Bliss has a shoulder issue, and she's being pulled out of a lot of events, including this week's SmackDown. Mm. Apparently, she has this shoulder issue, and I guess they're holding her out of competition for a while. And the re I also found out that Velveteen Dream, the reason why he isn't being involved is because he has a back injury. Yeah, no, he's still injured. They wrote him off TV like a week or two ago. Um, I don't think Velveteen Dream's going to be back for six to eight weeks, I believe, if I remember. Um, and also, Adam Cole is wrestling with, uh, or has been wrestling with a wrist injury or a broken wrist. Yeah, I, I, I've been, yeah, that's what. And I also want to mention something about the insider trading Jake DeMarco uh, was speaking about on Raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I am right now currently taking an economics course for uh, my college, for my degree. And, man, I'm going to tell you, companies do this all the time and get away with it like candy. Like, oh, yeah. Make, it's so, it's so easy. You can easily hide a freaking insider trading. I mean, look at the NFL with Miguel Kendricks. This guy held this for five years until he couldn't handle it anymore and decided to announce that he actually participated in it. So if one person feels guilty that they committed insider trading, everybody knows and they will investigate it ASAP. Like, it is so hard to detect when insider trading happens and who committed it first. And, you know, it's just so hard to fully understand how the insider trading started, but it happens every single time and people get away with it on a dime. Yeah, dude, it's it's happening like crazy uh, right now. Um, what did you think about Raw this week? Uh, uh, I hate I hate how people. I, by the way, I didn't watch SmackDown last week, and well, I, like I, I watched it, but then I had to go to sleep because I had to work overnight. Raw was just like I was actually in attendance during Raw. Uh, did anyone see a Joe Cronin sign? Because I had a Joe Cronin sign in the event. I missed it, man. But um, 
That'd be cool if it got sawn. Actually, at AEW, somebody said that somebody said they saw something at AEW last week on the dark part of the show. I don't know if that was you oh. or somebody else, but anyway, I, I, I mean, going back to Raw. I'm going to get like I I was there in the tens, but I'm going to give it a six point five out of ten. Like I. I don't know why. I, I just, I hate invasion storylines. Like, every Survivor Series, there has to be an invasion storyline. It, it just, it, it's too bland now. Like, you've done it multiple times. And, by the way, what the fuck, who, what the fuck was the tag team with, like, the Viking Raiders they were facing? Like, what the fuck was that? I just don't understand why the Viking Raiders would, would you know, be losing that, best in the world thing I mean it was kind of ridiculous they had a good they did cut a good promo saying like you know we didn't win that one or whatever but we're the champions type of thing you know I, I did like that by the way Nick love you man appreciate the call dude I'm sorry to cut you off I gotta move on I really am sorry Nick I appreciate that bro I, I'm sorry to hang up on you um, there's just so much I have to do um, and I was supposed to end the show about now but I'm not going to because there's so much to, to kind of get into here um, but yeah I had to talk to Leah too because Leah was asking me about food um, because we are going to be going over to the Corrupted Nation channel in a little bit to talk about um, what's going on, whatever, to do Throwdown, to do Tuesday Night Throwdown. I'm reading like seven things at once. Uh, Randy Orton signs new deal with WWE multiple years. Could be one of the biggest contracts of the uh, uh, in the recent history. Possibly ten million. Your thoughts on the undisputed era as a whole, slash in general, and what's your opinion on their current championship run in NXT? Because remember all four of them currently hold a title right now, meaning they have every men's title on that mm. brand at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I really liked, I, I like them. I like Undisputed Era. I've always liked them. They're the, they're very, they're an exciting group, I think. Um, you know, it's not easy to ex please me, um, but I've it really enjoyed everything that they've done. I like Adam Cole. I like the group together. You know, adding that fourth member when there was an injury a while back, I think they're better even with the four guys. Um, so yeah, I really, I like it. I kind of like where they've been going. Um, I hope that we get a little bit more dominance from them going forward. It looks like we're going to get that by the war game stuff happening. That keeps the titles on all of them. We're seeing them on uh, mainstream television with the, with the titles. And now we get to see them on USA network with the titles. So they are, they're dominant. I like them all. And I think they're pretty good. I know that somebody said the other day, they all look like midgets out there. Yeah, you know, they're smaller guys. It's the NXT type of guys, but they're like a pack of wolves, you know, right now. So that, you know, I like that. Um, medium well, prime rib, Bushman. What? Okay. Sorry, sorry, Jeff. I was reading something from uh, Leah. Leah was writing me something. We got a lot of we got a lot to talk about here. Six oh nine. Hello. Hey, what's going on? Oh, it's young. <laughs> what's up, Young? I can't hear you, man. I don't know what's wrong with your mic. I want to tell you I love you. Oh, you want you love me, young? I love you, Joe. Oh, I appreciate that, man. I love I guess I love you too. Whatever, you know. Yeah. Listen, Joe. I love you so much. I'm thinking about doxing your uh your address. Oh, why would you do that to me? You want my kids to be killed? Yeah. Oh, this is what the what's wrong with you, man? I took some cat tranquilizers. You <laughs> You took cat tranquilizers? Yeah. That's really Listen, messed Joe, up, bro. What kind Joe, of bath salts? Would, like, would you like to be woken up in the middle of the night with a gun to your face? Oh, man. What the fuck, man? Come on, dude. What, like Jake DeMarco? <laughs> <laughs> that was because of me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even fucking keep it up. You can't even keep it up. 
That's fucking hilarious. Big Fuego, uh, Jacob, definitely, bro. Show up on Throwdown, man. We'll put you on Big Fuego, Jacob, if you're listening. Um, uh, love you, buddy. Love you guys. Thanks for the call, man. That's really fucked up. Um, you'll probably end up going to my mother's house instead and, and not my house, though, if you really, if you do that. So you'll end up just scaring the shit out of, out of my poor 68-year-old mother um, instead of anything. You want to call my mom? Let's call my mother right now. You guys, who wants to call my mother and just freak her out? Let's call my mother because that's just a strange thing to do. Let's give my mom a call. Live on the air. Who wants to call my mom live on the air? <laughs> this is fucked up. All right, here we go. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Hello, who's this? Who's calling, please? I'm calling for Daniel. Oh, no, you have Daniel isn't here now. Daniel sucks. Who is this? I'm Daniel's worst enemy, Jesse the Body Ventura. <laughs> yes, Daniel, what you want? Hey, Mom, what's what up? You, where'd you get this number? Hey, we're live on my show right now. Oh, hello on the show. Hello to everybody. I'm telling everybody about my AIDS diagnosis. Daniel Joseph. Daniel, behave yourself. Don't tell everybody my real name. What are you doing? Joseph, what are you doing? Well, you didn't tell me. Well, I'm, not, I'm just telling you, like, I want everybody else to know about, you know, the... It's a, it's a big thing Joseph. to come out and tell everybody about my problems. Okay. Who who are you? No, I'm 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 Joe on the show. I'm no. Joe on the show, but I'm coming out as like my real self to tell everybody about the problems that I deal with, and about the medical I issues am? that I'm going to be facing over the course of the rest of my life now, all because I wanted to have some fun. Don't be fresh and don't do stuff like that. You. Well, it's too yourself. late. It's too late. I already. It's too late. I already did it. Just, just, you can get confusing me, and don't be smart ass. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I'm sorry. Now, I just, I want, I want to know that you're going to be there for me. That you're going to be, you're going to be able to be there for me during this time. Leah's here. She's accepted it. One night I snuck out and had a, you know, I didn't know what I was doing, but she was dirty. And so here's the thing, I want everyone's support in all of this. And you and you think that that's fun on your show, saying stuff like that and doing no, stuff like not. that. No, it's not. I'm just trying to. I'm looking for support. You're my mom. I'm looking for support. And I'm not giving you any because you're being a fool. I'm not being a fool. I'm trying to. It's smart for me to reach out and to get all the support. That's what they told me at the hospital. Get support of everybody. Oh gosh, you stress me out a lot. Just, oh just, just, God. can you just say, just, just say if something, something, I'm sorry. Wrong, you can, if there was something wrong, of course, I would support I, you. That's all I want. Just say, I'm sorry you have AIDS. You don't have it, and I'm sorry. <laughs> but no, I will no, always say, support you, no matter no, what. say, I'm sorry, that. I'm sorry that you have AIDS. That's all I want to hear, support. No, I'm not saying that. I'm never going to say that. I would that, say it to I'm you. Sorry. I would say it to you. I would tell you, I'm sorry you <laughs> have AIDS, Mom. Daniel, I... I mean, Joe, I will always support you. <laughs> well, th then why can't you say those comforting words? I'm sorry that you have <laughs> AIDS. Because I don't like you fooling around with stuff like that. There are people out there who have a lot of issues, and it's no joke. It is. I know it's not, and that's what I'm saying. I want, and, and now they're going to be afraid to tell their mothers, because look, at this is the type of support no. you're going to get. No, because no. If I thought for a moment that it were true, of course I would be there for you, and of course I would do it. And you need to support me. Magic Johnson's family was there for him. And I would, I told you I would be there for you. I, well, then I love you. Okay, well, I appreciate that. I know. I'm. <laughs> All right.
kidding around. I'm just kidding around. I'm kidding around. I love you. I I just want anyway, I gotta go back to my show, but um I love you. Good night. I hope you have a good night and uh that show. What? Was I really on your show? Yeah, we're live we're still I'm still live right now. Oh gosh, I'm ready. Well any Okay did, everybody. Did you have fun with the kids earlier? They talked to you a long time? I did, yes. All I right. had with Missy. Yep. All right. Well you have a yep. have a good sleep. Mm-hmm. I love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Love you. Goodbye, everyone. Love All right. you, kidding. Goodbye. Bye-bye. All right, goodbye. I've got AIDS. Um <laughs> something wrong with me. Um <laughs> let's go back to the calls. That should have been on throwdown later. Super chat. Party. <laughs> Let's show the Wrestle Daily and Botch Club, my guy. Oh yeah, baby, Botch Club and Instagram. You got to check them out. They are, without a doubt, one of the best um, uh, Instagram accounts ever for wrestling. Uh, Botch Club on Instagram, Instagram dot com slash Botch Club. You got to go check them out. Even my mom uh, is a fan of Botch Club on Instagram. There's so much stuff on there, wrestling-wise, that you you wouldn't believe. Look at this. Go follow Botch Club. Look, 23,000. They're almost up to 24,000 followers. Just videos every day that are hilarious, wrestling-wise. Memories, indie shows, constant stuff. I'm on there. Look at this. What the fuck? Wayne's Rock? What is that? There's just so much stuff. Hell yeah! Check him out. Someone give Rollins a stone cold stunner followed by two middle fingers and a double yell yay. Hell yeah. Uh, Glenn White. <laughs> My poor mother. A uh, big big fuego, Jacob. Big fuego, Jacob. Thank you, man, for that. Hey, man, it is what it is. I appreciate it. Rollins didn't block me. I'll say that. He probably like muted me or something like that. Hey. Yeah. Oh shit! Uh. What if the turkeys ate us? Oh my god! Ooh. What if they filleted us? What if they killed us and ate our children? What if the turkeys ate us? What if they filleted us? If the turkeys ate us? If they had to hate us But Thanksgiving was a little bit different Instead the turkeys ate us They gobbled us apart But first they'd eat our nuts And then they'd eat our butt The turkeys ate us What if, what if what if the turkeys ate us? What if the turkeys ate us? What if they ate our fucking nuts? What if the turkeys ate us instead of mashed potatoes? Instead the turkeys what is going on tonight guys holy shit this is like are we getting our turkey (laughs) are we getting our turkey you might be uh talking about the turkey shirt uh i'm still working on that we may have a turkey shirt out soon a turkey club t-shirt people are looking for turkey club t-shirt i'm working on it man i'm working on it it's gonna be big everyday jam man thank you again he became a $100 patron. He dropped a $200 donation earlier. And now he drops the turkey bomb. I mean, what this guy is is awesome. This guy is awesome. You know, for 300 bucks, 300 people could watch a lot of my bonus content on Patreon. That'd be crazy. Unbelievable. There's a lot of other songs all over my um What else we got? Oh, a lot a of other bit donations. Of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Bubbly. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Breaking news: El Gallo de Oro was involved in a sudden, unexpected car crash. He was pronounced dead at the scene. It seems to be that the vehicle's brakes were faulty. Well, Jesus. have more on this story tonight at El Gun Shots. Clinton's laughing in background. 
God damn, man. That's crazy. That is wild. Are you please let me know if he's okay? I need him. Like legit he completes me. Havan, thanks for uh 18. Thanks for uh, subscribing to the channel. Welcome. Appreciate that you uh, are here. We're going to have throwdown in about an hour. Jeez. Rest in peace. A little bit of the bubbly. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick melts everybody. <laughs> Nick Meltzer, everybody. Yeah, that was Nick Meltzer. He was giving us the scoop on some things. That was pretty crazy, to be honest. You don't you don't hear about that every day from Nick breaking in news. Uh pretty shocking to be honest. Four four seven? What the hell number is this? Hello. Hello, yeah, Joe. How are you? How are you, man? Yeah, I'm good. I just heard this news about Randy Orton. Yeah, good for him. Yeah, he'll be making shit out of money. Probably. But like, probably as a fan, as a wrestling fan, I would have loved maybe to see him in AEW, maybe, I don't know, reunited with Cody, maybe put a personal story, bringing back legacy, maybe a Teddy BLC showing up, you know, as a fantasy or, yeah, you know, like as a, as a wrestling fan. But yeah, good for him, I would say. But again, like, like for all the people out there, just don't expect Randy Orton to be the Randy Orton from 09 or the legend killer or the cool person we all loved and grew up on. He will just be the same boring piece of crap who does the same bullshit. The guy legit just laughs while he's doing his well, it's, move stunts. Whatever. Well, it's funny. You know what I mean? we, we give uh, Seth Rollins crap, but, but Randy is really like this. Randy is totally yeah. like, just give me my paycheck. I don't care, whatever. Yeah. He's Dude, like that, that's, mm -hmm. that's that story about him going to the Iraq soldiers – over in Iraq, and then them being delayed about six hours, and Randy's pacing around in the background going like, can we just get the fuck out of here? Like, he just, like, dude, he is such a, like, he doesn't... Yeah, he's a comeback. Yeah, yeah, he's like, kind so of he's a... The type yeah. of a character he is. Right. Yeah, he, he is the type of a guy who would never pretty much give a shit about the fans or giving a good show or giving a good wrestling show. Like, a, give me my goddamn... That's why he went to the Saudi show three years. There were two times, or probably every single time, and probably he hated. He was hating it every single time, but he just sees the picture like, "Oh, I need to go right now," you know. So here you go. <laughs> That's Randy Orton for you. And for WWE, if I just keep seeing the same bullshit every single goddamn week. I'm sorry, like, like Vince McMahon, you fucking old piece of shit cunt. <laughs> all right, seriously, like ten years ago, or I would say, like I've watched. Uh, 2014, the story with Daniel Bryan, and a couple of years ago, and I remember I used to rant so much, and I used to hate everything about 2014. Right now, I watch 2014. I'm like, oh my god, like this is amazing compared to the bullshit we're seeing right now. Yeah, like the basics of wrestling are not there anymore. The continuity, wrestling is a story. Show me a fucking story. I want to see a goddamn story. I want to see connection. I want to see wrestling moves that relate to the story. I want to be interested. Just on one single story. I'm not asking for the whole damn show. Right now, we just get some bullshit wrestling. Oh, I'm going to see you next week or some bullshit like that. Yep. And I'm like, just, what's the point? You, this is WWE. I'll be honest. This is WWE since 2017. Bullshit. Or probably, like, 2016 was probably the the last year. And again, I'm telling you, like, 010 and 09 until this period, I thought it was garbage. Me too. Right I was now, the same way. I remember way. these times. And I'm like, compared to now, holy shit, we Th this those, is a full of great Those were the me. years that got me so mad I started doing these shows. And, like, it's not even, it was better, way better then. And you didn't even realize how much better it was then. Exactly. This is the shocking part. And the standard and, uh, like, the benchmark of the fans keeps going down and down and down. And when WWE do something, oh, NXT invading. And they're like, oh, this is going to be a great idea. We're going to bring the NXT. Oh, this, this is gonna be fantastic! Oh, Adam Cole, you gotta, you gotta have a match with that freaking wow! And they're gonna have this incredible match, and I'm like, all right, they're gonna, they're gonna have a match. We, you did this last week with Daniel Bryan. What is the point again with doing it with Rollins? You're right. 
what is the point? And you just throw in the match. You, you could have, you want to ma- do a shocking thing, make Collins win the title and make him join NXT again. There you go, shocking thing. And people will be interested again. You know, I'm not obviously saying make this, but there is not that like shocking sense anymore. There's no more surprises. I know maybe it's, it can be due to social media. And you just and just like remember when they announced Brock Lesnar is coming back 2011? Or um, on Twitter or something like that. Yeah, I yeah. Know, I, I'm not too sure. At, like, where is the surprise element anymore? Like, there is nothing that keeps. Like, I remember watching Double or Nothing in AEW, and trust me, like AEW, sometimes I, like, I like it, but so far I'm not too. Um, I, I still can be critical. I'm not gonna suck dick to anyone just because. Oh, they're different. Show, like all of these wrestling fans, which they all suck, by the way. WWE, right. AEW, NXT, you all fucking pricks. I'm 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 not gonna just I'm just gonna generalize it. We're, like wrestling right now is in the gutter. Yes, there is a lot of shows. There's a lot of it. But remember, wrestling back in the day, we used to argue to feel of fate. This is how good wrestling was. Just to the people talking out there, people legit thought this was real. This is how good wrestling used to be. Ten, uh, fifteen, sixteen, as we there, which was the Christian era. There was a story. There was something to be told. You know, there was some like I remember I used to see the credit little uh, thing on on the left of the screen. I'm like, shit, I want to see next week. Right? Now, like, <laughs> I don't even give a fuck. You know, why would I care? You know what I mean? Like, where where are you? Um, where are you calling from? Are you in like uh, Norway or somewhere? I'm calling. I'm calling from the UK. Um, I live here in the UK. In the UK, but okay. I don't have a UK accent. Yeah, because I'm I'm an international student here. So yeah. Yeah, but where yeah. you where are you from originally? Like, because I said Norway, but I'm, where originally, you? I'm originally from Egypt. Yeah. I'm oh yeah, Egypt. Egypt. Yeah, we talked before about this because, like, I yeah, told you. I remember, yeah, yeah. That the accent. AEW, yeah, the, yeah, I remember mm-hmm. that. Yeah, the accent so messes no, me up because because so. yeah. I had <laughs> because I had lots of friends from Egypt and Libya who were not lots of friends, but a couple people that were my friends who, who moved here to go to school here, that grew up here. Um, yeah. And then yeah. they used to, they would, some of them went back to Egypt. Some of them go back to visit, but come back. Yeah. Interesting, man. Cause I know the accent, but like, dude, it's the same all around the world. Everybody feels the same. And it's funny cause WWE doesn't translate the same way anywhere. It doesn't matter any country. Everybody knows this. It's, it's and people from it's, outside it's the U S well, but people outside yeah. the U S are even smarter with some of this stuff. Cause like they are people that watch it are smarter. So they don't get it. That's why they like a lot of the UK wrestling more because like you're talking about people with yeah. like that speak like three different languages are watching this product at, versus like the general audience of America, you know what I mean? Like we don't fucking most of us don't know any more than yeah, one. Most of it's one dimensional. Yeah, I know. I get yeah. what I mean. Yeah, so it's weird. So like they're uh, they're playing to a more like sometimes an even smarter crowd, and like they're just not having it. That's why their UK numbers are dead right now, and that's why the Canadian numbers are dropping even. And in and of course the U.S. base is dropping as well. Man, good call, man. I love you, dude. Thanks for calling long distance too. I love you. Cheers. Cheers, man. Good shit. Um, call, uh, you guys can add me on Skype at Danny Deadly, D A N N Y D E A D L Y, in case you guys want to save on your you know data plan and everything, um, so you don't have to uh, call long distance. And I'll try to add you on Skype and try to email me about it. If I don't get you on there, email me Joe Cronin Show at Yahoo dot com or message me on Patreon. You'll get priority then too. Um, I, I'm not meaning to not accept you. I'm probably just not seeing it because the Skype system is just so massive. Roman Reigns You my man I wanna see you naked Give me that Superman punch in my rectum Give me that Superman punch in my rectum I don't care if your whole fist goes up my asshole Roman Reigns Sup Joe with AEW Fall Gear this Saturday, what are you looking forward to most? I'll tell you what, these donations keep it up, I might be getting that fucking computer eventually. Breaking Oz 96, um, I- I'm just looking forward to being hyped up, that's really what it is, but really Cody man, I- I'm so hot on this Cody Rhodes Jericho thing, they have sold the shit out of this for me, I can't wait for it dude, Breaking Oz 96, thank you. I, I, Cody Rhodes, Jericho. I'm ready to go. Oh shit! Yeah! Wow, dude, this is.
This ain't even throwdown yet. Holy shit. Every day, jam. Thank you, Joe. Let's get this party started right now before throwdown. Let's have some bubbly and crown. Let's have some bubbly. Actually, everyday jam. I'm out of crayon, so I plan on going to the store to get some crayon uh, for tonight's uh, throwdown, which is happening maybe a little bit later, like about 10, 10, 15. It all depends on um, this. I, I was supposed to end this show about 30 minutes ago, <laughs> but here we go, everyday jam. Thanks for the $20.10, man. Holy shit. Oh, a this little is crazy. bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Here comes oh, Dave Meltzer. Oh, this is terrible. A little bit of the bubbly. That's it. This Dave Meltzer 2 reporting. Breaking news. I just shit my pants and my daddy the Dave Meltzer 1 is changing my dirty underwear and pants. He'll report more when more news break. Thank you, uh, Dave Meltzer's um, retarded son. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you for the $3, man. Appreciate that. Uh, Paul in the chat says, when's Tommy's roast? Uh, Tommy's roast right now, it's not really happening because Tommy wouldn't talk with Dave and they had some kind of disagreement mostly on Tommy's end being he didn't want Dave to talk to Crystal because he was afraid of like Dave was going to hit on Crystal or something like that I don't I have no idea man um, when it comes to Tommy, Tommy he's just all pissed off about everything so my mother did just text me and said she enjoyed that and I gave her some more gray hairs so sorry to my mom my mom's been dealing with me my whole life Her so she's aware of how stupid I am I also want to say shout out to my son Champion who uh, upped his pledge again uh, on Patreon. So shout out to my son Champion as well and everybody else who's re-upping their pledges on Patreon. Thanks to everybody who's been commenting on Final Frontier News. Me and Dave really appreciate that support. Um, I, we need obviously need you guys to keep it going and you guys have responded pretty well with that. So make sure you guys listen to the episode, download it, comment on it, like it, whatever. Let me know that it's valuable and if it's valuable on Patreon, I will keep doing those shows and I will keep bringing Dave on for them. Um, Final Frontier News episode 18, it's up now. And you can hear some free episodes on YouTube if you search Final Frontier News of me and Dave. And if you like it, all the episodes are on Patreon and we're going to start getting it done weekly again if it's popular enough, which it looks like it's going to do well in the numbers. Uh, you know, my Patreon is like Netflix, you know, whatever hits, you know, hits uh, really well. Okay, last few more minutes, a few more minutes of wrestling questions before we get to uh, to uh, Tuesday Night Throwdown on my other channel, Corrupted Nation. When we go over there tonight, there'll be no wrestling talk, though, so get it all out now uh, before we go there. Give me Crystal's number, somebody says in the chat. Uh, the... <laughs> F. Tommy says Paul 3. Your mom seems cool. Yeah, my mom had to put up with me, so she's pretty cool. Um, I do love my mom. I mean, my dad died when I was 8. You know what I mean? Like, my mom is all I have, really, for, like, you know. So she means a lot to me, even though she can be whatever. Someone make the $10.50 donation uh, and scare... Oh, no, I read it now. It won't scare me. That does scare me, though. The $10.50 donation is fucking terrifying. Um, I just swallowed the whole ice cube. Says Mayor Ruger. That that's really messed up. Mayor Ruger. That would do, dude. My like esophagus and the whole throat lining. It would feel like it was closing up if it was that cold, you know. So Seth Rollins cool with you yet? Uh, I don't think. I I mean I don't think so. But I don't know. He didn't block me. I don't know if he muted me. He might have muted me on Twitter. But you know, whatever. He probably hates me. But whatever I guess it's I like you know it sucks but when I make critical videos like that where I'm being you know what I mean when I'm ranting on somebody calling them a prick shithead I mean what is the guy supposed to like me you know what I mean so I don't blame him I get it I get I get I get it it's not a big deal I get what I put back into the world you know I put out in the world I get I get it back you know what I mean Where am I living? Where am I living? Where am I living? Right now Uh-uh. Uh. Oh. Everyday Jam, thanks for the 1050. <laughs> God. Jesus. 
Um, Will Seth mentioned the guy YouTube in the promo Monday. Yeah, it would be funny if he did. Um, probably mentioned Dave Meltzer. Um, Cthulhu Wayne, what's up, Cthulhu? Uh, we got an unknown caller on the phone. That's always dangerous. Unknown caller, hello. Hey, Joe Cronin, what's up, man? Real quick question: Who's better, Tessa Blanchard or Charlotte? Um. I, I think I'd have to go Charlotte, but Charlotte, you know, a lot of times now kind of rinse and repeat on her move set and what she does in the ring. Tessa Blanchard, though, is able to kind of like do something different every time she's out there. So while I'd have to go Charlotte, I guess, I like the fact that Tessa Blanchard kind of changes it up. I feel like Charlotte has been sticking to the same sort of script every match recently. Is that it? Okay. Thanks for yeah, okay, man. Thank you. Yeah, man. So, um, I've been, I've been a little bit more entertained by Tessa Blanchard recently because she's able to kind of go outside the box and do whatever she wants to do. It feels like uh, again, Charlotte is kind of safely sticking to the script. I think Charlotte is phenomenal. You know, I, I get I get people not liking her because she's pushed down your throats a little bit, kind of like the female Roman Reigns. I think it's a little ridiculous with how heavy they pushed her. But she is no, uh, undoubtedly the number one in uh, WWE. But um, it is what it is. Adam Ant, thank you, man. Sasha Banks is nudes. I haven't seen them yet. Um, I, I think Sasha Banks is beautiful. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm. I feel bad for people who are maybe embarrassed over it. But luckily, she's hot as hell. So if her nudes leak, uh, whatever. At least she's good looking. Probably nobody should be violated though. Who doesn't want their nudes out there? Even even if you're sending them recklessly to people, you know whatever the case is. I mean, it's still it's still messed up. You know, you're still doing the wrong thing by putting stuff out there. You know, it's fun to talk about, and yeah, she's hot and all these other things. Um, but um, I feel bad for any anybody who's you know embarrassed about shit leaking out about them and stuff like that. I just fucked up. I don't want to do that to anybody. I mean, she's hot though, so whatever. But yeah, Lightning Buzz is here. Lightning Blitz is here. Danny Piffin in the chat says Sasha's nudes are fake, so they're not even real. Yeah, I mean, people are faking shit left and right nowadays. You know what I mean? They're putting stuff, people's heads on other bodies in videos, all those fake out videos. There's just so many fake things going on all over the place um, that it's just—I mean, you, it's just, just so many. You know, so it's, you know, it's, it's really, it's kind of weird. It's kind of scary how they can fake things in video, especially that's going to be a real big problem when it comes down to it. Uh, yeah. WWE tweeted out about Scarlett Boudreau and, and some of the other signees over there. Uh, if you want to talk about the raw ratings, which I didn't get to yet. Um, and thank you guys for all the donations, uh, during this, uh, little stream here in Q and a, this is wild. Um, we got some of the, the numbers here. We got. Uh, October 28th, you know, the week before, they did just about 2.133, so just 2,133,000. And last night's episode was 2,136,000, so just slightly up a little bit, but it's post-Crown Jewel, just about the same. Um, I would expect this number to drop a little bit next week, maybe, but it might flat, it might stay around this number again. So that looks to be around where Raw is sitting right now with around anywhere between a 2.3 and a 2, which is, you know, so that's that's hovering downward. We're going to get to the 1.9s, I'm telling you, unless they do something big different. And, uh, you know, other than having people come back and doing things like that, they're going to be really down at that level. I got about... I'm, I got about one minute. Uh, AJ Moore is on the phone. God damn, AJ, I got about a minute, man, but I wanted to get you on. What's up, dude? Dude, just chilling, listening to you, man. Enjoying what you're doing. Yeah, this is uh, just uh, impromptu stuff. What's up? Nah, I'm just I was just enjoying what you're doing. Just wanted to call and say what's up, brother, man. It's been a minute. We haven't talked in a minute. I know. I kind of. Uh, um, I get you up? random. I get you randomly on here. I feel like, yeah, yeah, man. What's been up? What do you think about all the wrestling shit that's going on? I mean, I mean. <sighs> There, there's there's a lot of things I could think about that, but 
I'd rather not get into it since uh, both me and you are kind of like more in the wrestling community. So I just don't want to put my two cents in on that. What does that mean? What are you talking? about? Oh well, I don't, I just don't want to. I just don't. Wanna, I just don't want to get into anything like that because I feel like I feel like I just don't want to. I don't. I'll, I'll, I'll be biased on thing because I, I always feel like you know if you're a worker, you have to you have to obey to certain things. So like the whole Seth Rollins thing and you, I was like, holy shit, brother, what's going on? But you know, after that, <clears throat> I see why they want to be on the bias side too. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think I get what you're saying. Um, but yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to put too much into it. You know. But yeah, yeah, man. Well, what do you want? Well, what do you want to say, man? I'm. A, I've. I've. I've got to rush out of here, but I want to talk. I want to get something oh, no, from no. you. Hey, man. No, no, no. Nice just, Rick and Morty just, shirt, by the way. Your, How'd you like that Rick and oh, Morty no. AEW thing the other day? This is actually, actually, this is the Nick and Maddie shirt. Oh. They got, uh, oh. This is the, the, that's the one that they um, they got a, a cease and desist for. So I guarantee you they're going to come out with a part two soon. That's so funny, man. They got a cease and desist, and then they were like, hey, advertise on our show. Yeah, that's what I oh, – you know what? That's that's on, – on Wednesday I wanted to call you about that. But uh, now that I'm wearing the shirt randomly, I was just like, holy shit. Yeah, that reminds me. Yeah, um, they got a cease and desist, and um, now they got them promoting. So I guarantee yeah. you there's going to be a part two of this shirt. Yeah. And there's no nipples on them. Yeah, that's I, so weird. I like it. Well, you don't need nipples. No. I mean, when you those guys, they don't need nipples. You know, they've already got enough kids, and you know they, <laughs> they don't need nipples. Uh, you know, you don't want to be milking your own kids. But uh, AJ, man, I love you, bro. Call an, call another time hey. when I'm not so rushed, bro. I love to hang out with you for a few. Oh no no yeah yeah I will. Oh, oh. and uh, um, I'll hit you up on that Patreon because uh. Yeah, my card did get declined. <laughs> oh, it's all good, man. Yeah, it happens to everybody at the first of the month. You know, I've, I've dude, that's happened, and I was like, what, what, what? And you messaged me, and I was like, are you sure it's gonna happen this time? And it yep. fucking happened like five minutes later. I always tell people like, get ready, it's probably gonna happen. And and you know, sometimes people just they're like, yeah, I can't, I, I don't have, any, I'm not gonna be able to re up right now. And I'm like, no, that's cool. I'm just letting you know that because some people go, why haven't you uploaded anything on Patreon? And then they're like, oh, I don't even, ha I'm not even on there. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Your, your car was declined like two weeks ago. You didn't even realize it. So yeah, I didn't even realize it either. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, I, I just I appreciate the support, bro. And I mean, like, it's always a we it's always stressful at the first and second of the month because like automatically there's going to be like hundreds declined. So you're like, oh, no, what did I do? Well, I didn't do anything. It's just the beginning of the month. And then everybody like it's actually kind of amazing the amount of people that sign back up so quickly. And every month it's grown. So I think it's. I, I want to get more content out this November, though, so there'll be more. People wanted Honestly with Tommy every week, so that's happening. And maybe twice, a like couple times I a like week. It. I want to do it a couple times a week. So a couple times a week and more of the other stuff, and me and my wife have ours done now, so that's coming out. So, yay. Like, it's going to be fun, man. But that, I, I I appreciate the, the support, songs. bro. That and the songs, man. I like the songs. Yeah. And I'm coming out with a way that you can... Again, like trying to put it all on the website because Patreon's organization is shit. Like you can't look through oh. old shit. It's stupid. Oh, um, especially on mobile. I can't never find shit on mobile. Yeah, mobile you're fucked. You have to be on browser. But so like I, I'm still Speaking about that. My computer's fucked too. Just like a computer. My computer just got fucked. So I'm trying to get something new right, right. now. <laughs> like in the next I'm, like three days. I'm going to be creating more drop boxes. And I think what I'm going to do is I think every week. I'm going to message out a Dropbox for everything. You know what I mean? Like, okay, here's the Dropbox for this and that every week. That way, if you're like, oh, yeah. oh, where's the old episodes? Well, you can just go into the Dropbox and pull them up. And then on the website, I've almost got everything archived on the website, on my website. So if you go to the website. Yeah, I, but people I said there was that. a problem with that where they weren't logged in. So anyway, I'm looking at all this stuff. I, I think I, it was mobile. Mobile. It was a mobile problem. Yeah, because it would be like you wouldn't be logged into Patreon, so then you'd have to still log in, blah, yeah. blah, blah. So, yeah, I'm coming up with a way that you can search through old episodes. And then anything older than three months ago, I'm working on getting it put up free on a podcast. So it's all going to be like everything's going to be on a like iTunes and Spotify if it was three months ago or older. So that way you can – because I found that people aren't – people will still well, – have pay for the content that's have, going on do you have like an itunes yeah or a 
You do? Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that, I, I have I, mean, I have Joe Cronin show right now, but I'm also creating a second one that's going to be like, you know what I mean? What everything. Oh, here comes some bubbly from bubbly. Jericho. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Bubbly. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. <laughs> this is Dave Meltzer 2 reporting again. Oh, God, Dave Meltzer More breaking again. news. My daddy Dave Meltzer one says to me if I keep pissing and shitting the bed hell ship me to Black Mountain, North Carolina to some fat retard who might eat me. Oh, God. He'll report back to you with more. Yes, I'm going to need more for, about that tonight on Throwdown, Dave Meltzer's uh, retard son. Uh, please uh, tell me more about that tonight on Throwdown. I will be live on Throwdown by 1030. Uh, could be an hour from now or less. We'll be live sometime between 10 and 1030 tonight on my other channel, Corrupted Nation. AJ, man, appreciate the support, and I'll see you over there if you're on tonight. Yeah, I'll be there. Hell yeah, baby. Be careful, brother. Wow. Right. Thanks, man. Ah. <laughs> AJ Moore, a uh, hell of a supporter and friend for a long time. Much appreciated, man. And sorry that we had to rush through that conversation, but uh, I think I've got everything. Joe seems scared of this guy. No, I'm not scared of him, no. I, I'm just basically trying to rush to get done with this um anyway i was not creeped out by aj more i've known aj forever aj might be baked right now though i will say that he looks like he might be baked i don't know though um everybody in the chat thank you so much thanks to everybody who stopped by tonight asked questions we really didn't get to everything at all even close uh what up lorenzo um and i will see you guys over on throwdown Tuesday night throwdown on my other channel if you guys want to come over and talk and have a good time uh, and get down to it man we're gonna fucking get down to it get down to this we're gonna decipher this community into pieces no I'm just kidding I'm kidding come on over there and thanks to everyday jam who dropped the two hundy bomb and a ton of donations and became a hundred dollar patron and everybody else thank you in the chat thank you all love you love you long time and I will see you tonight on Throwdown on my other channel. Goodbye. Do we have outro music or something? I mean, come on.